Why does no one speak about this when your life is changing? I feel like a lot of people really want their life to change, but a lot of people don't speak about it, that with change, there are also uncomfortable situations that you will have to go through. Because change doesn't always mean for the better. And let me explain. Most of us, we want a better life. We want something else in life, right? We want to elevate, we want to grow. But with change, that also means that there are situations in your life that will need to change in order for you to grow. So as an example, if you want to become someone else in your life, if you want to grow, you will probably have to let go of people in your life right now that are not serving you anymore. And that change is not always easy. So a lot of times I think we approach change with like excitement. I can't wait. This is going to be amazing. Woo! And we don't realize that change is not always easy and it is painful. Painful. And many people are not changing because that painful process is oftentimes more difficult than staying where they're at. So that's when you have to ask yourself, am I okay with going through the change and it's going to be painful and it's going to be uncomfortable? Or do I want to stay where I'm at? Which situation is more painful? Which situation am I not okay with? And then when you're going through the change, it's recognizing that there will be parts of you that will need to die, that there will be situations you will be put into that are going to be uncomfortable. Think of this. If you right now want to change your job situation, you want to apply to a bigger and better job, that will also come with a lot of uncomfortable feelings. You'll probably have to step outside of your comfort zone to apply to a job that you wouldn't have applied to before. You will have to have conversations with people you haven't had conversations yet. You will have to go through an interview process that will feel scary and uncomfortable. You will be put into a complete new environment with completely new people and that is scary and uncomfortable. And sometimes you might be in your new job and think of, oh, it was so much easier when I was in my old job because it wasn't as hard or difficult or people were different. It's about recognizing that it's okay if those situations are there, if those situations are painful and not making them wrong, but accepting that they're going to be there, accepting that these situations are going to show up and also knowing that staying where you're at is not an option. Right now, you want change because you're probably sick of where you're at. You're probably exhausted of where you're at. But in order for you to change, you will have to do things differently. And that process of doing things differently is oftentimes the hardest part. You will probably have to wake up earlier if you want to create a side hustle. So you want to wake up earlier so that you have time to create that side hustle. That change can be uncomfortable. You waking up one, two hours earlier than usual is going to be uncomfortable at first. But I always like to say going back to pick your pain. What is more painful? Staying where you're at or the change that is going to be painful that comes along with that? I think the biggest piece here is also being okay with that journey taking time because oftentimes we're desiring a change and we want things to be different right now. And then maybe we're on our path for a couple of days, weeks, months, or maybe years at a time. And we are like, why is it not here yet? Maybe you're creating your own business and you want, you desire a successful business. And you might be asking yourself, why is the success not here yet? And then giving up on yourself rather than being okay with where you're at and enjoying the journey while staying in the uncomfortable feeling of it not being there yet, but trusting that it's going to show up. So I think it's a combination of both. It's being okay with change and it being painful, but it's also being okay with trusting yourself, trusting yourself that you can do something, staying consistent, recognizing that if there's going to be a change in something uncomfortable, let's say you have to let go of certain people in your life that right now are holding you back from the life that you want. That also means a new door is going to open with the people that are meant to be in your life. But that gap in between letting go of these old people and inviting those new people might be bigger than what you would like it to be. But can you be okay with that space? Can you be okay with being in the middle of your old and the new and not knowing what's next? Can you be okay with not knowing what's next, being in that middle and still trusting that things are going to work out for you? That's really the power of change. Whenever you have a setback, not making it mean anything about you, that setback is there because there is a lesson for you to learn. I like to say this to my clients a lot of times. Think of how 
how babies learn to walk. When babies learn to walk, they get up, walk a couple of steps, or maybe just one step and fall again. You don't ever see a baby walk one step, sit down and like, well, that was it. I tried walking once, can't do it again. We'll never walk in my life. No, that baby gets up a million times until it can actually walk. So why do you fall once and you give up? Why do you fall three times and you give up? Why do you fall 10 times and you give up? That doesn't mean it's not meant for you. It just means there was a little wobbliness like that child and there's still something that isn't yet fully developed and there's still aspects of you that you can learn about yourself that you can discover about yourself or that you can solidify within yourself so yes change is not easy but it's always always i think the most powerful decision you can make when you're ready to take things into your own hands if you like this type of content please let me know subscribe to my channel sending you so much love and until the next one